pose we're going to come into is called half butterfly. The full butterflies with both feet together. The half butterfly is to draw one foot in and stretch the other leg out to the side. You can turn and face that leg. Once again, you start to fold forward. The first key prop to use here, again, is the cushion. By sitting up on the cushion, it's going to help you come forward enough so that gravity is going to do the work. In yin yoga, we try not to engage the muscles. We're not pulling yourself forward. We're just allowing ourselves to come forward. But if you're very tight in the hamstrings, and I've asked you to come forward, and you're sitting up like this and say, you have, well, by bending the knee, that will release the hamstring, which should allow you to flex the hip enough to let you come forward. Keeping the knee bent, however, could be tiring for a while. So an option is to put something underneath it, a block or a bolster. And now the muscles can relax because the bones are supported. Now you can come forward and just come to an edge. You don't have a block, you don't have a bolster, you can use several blankets instead so that you're not limited by your props, using them in the same way that you would use a block for the cushion underneath you or the bolster under your knees. If the bent knee doesn't like this, if you have any knee issues, a block or a cushion or a blanket underneath the knee can also be supported as well. If you have sandbags, it can be nice, like in a full butterfly with both legs bent, to support the knee if you needed to, if it's floating, but then to root the top of the thigh with the sandbag. So you could put the sandbag at the top of the thigh of the bent leg. You could also use the sandbag at the top of the thigh of the straight leg, just to root down in the femurs and give a sense of grounding and pose. If you're not able to fold forward very far, you could use your bolster to give you support. If one bolster is too far away, you could add a second one on top of the first so that you're finding the right height so you're supported and can relax. You could also angle the bolster using blocks. If you have blocks, block on the far end so that you're able to sink down. If you're not coming far like you did in butterfly, you could use an angled bolster to support your forehead. Yeah, like in the butterfly, if you're fairly flexible and you can come down over the straight leg quite a ways, you might find, again, just a little bit extra weight here can help make the pose a bit juicier. Again, sandbags can help make the pose deeper 